Hi, my name is Tony Santo and I'm a large format photographer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own ground glass. So I'm at Petrified Forest National Park last year and I just finished taking a picture of this beautifully colored petrified log and I moved the tripod over to the side near my bag so I could start breaking down my gear and putting it away. And next thing you know, I turn my back on my tripod and I hear a loud crash and I hear glass breaking. So this is my actual ground glass from last year that uh, ended up breaking and as you can see there was a, just enough of it where I could actually use it uh, in the field to move around in the viewfinder a little bit to compose my image. Um, and that was a little uh, uh, <laughs> problematic because I was only a couple days into about a four day trip. I was moving on to the Grand Canyon that day. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. So anyhow, um, thankfully the ground glass is the only thing that broke and I didn't break my uh, Fresnel. The Fresnel is made of uh, acrylic and it's got these concentric circles that brighten the screen. Uh, so this is very, very expensive and it's an important piece of this whole system because it does disperse the light evenly across the ground glass so it makes focusing really easy. So in this video, what we're working on is the ground glass. So I'm going to show you how to make that and this particular replacement that I made on the frosted side, on the side that you grind down uh, with the silicone carbide, I've actually drawn some hash marks to denote where my 6x7 film holder uh, lines up with. So you can draw anything you want on, on here. You could put you know a hash mark in the center or some horizontal lines, some vertical lines, whatever you need. Once you've made the ground glass, uh, it's, it's yours to basically uh, customize however you like. So there are just a few things that you're going to need to make your own ground glass. The first of which is a piece of glass. There's nothing special about this glass. It's the kind of glass that you would find in an ordinary picture frame. So what I decided to do is to make a cardboard cutout of the area that I needed for my ground glass from the camera that you see over to my right. And I took it down to my home improvement store and they were able to cut two pieces of glass for me uh, for the size that I needed. And the nice thing about having someone do it for you is that they have the right tools and you get these nice clean edges all around the glass. The next thing you're gonna need is silicone carbide, also known as carborundum powder. This is a 600 grit. I purchased it in a one pound container. It is certainly way more powder than I'm ever going to use, assuming that I don't break too many ground glasses. The next thing that I would recommend doing is making yourself a tool so that you can control the grinding of the glass. And what I did here was I took a scrap piece of glass, a scrap piece of wood, and I used double sided tape to affix them together. In this way, when I'm grinding glass, I have more control over the areas that I'm trying to get. And the last thing that I would recommend is a piece of cardboard that you use to set your glass onto while you're actually grinding down the glass. It does a really nice job, I have found, to hold the glass in place and stop it from sliding all around. Okay, so I'm going to begin by putting a little powder on the ground glass. And you want to try and be careful and not to get this up into the atmosphere because it is a fine powder and you don't want to be breathing it in because that can lead to some respiratory issues for you down the road if you inhale enough of this stuff. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a little turkey baster here and pour some water right over the powder. It doesn't take too much. And then I'm going to try to spread this out a little bit just to make it easier to grind the glass. And I'm simply just going to press down and start grinding. Just some firm pressure is all you need. And 
try to hit all the areas of the glass. You can really hear that silicone carbide cutting into the glass as you're doing this. I'll keep doing this for a while. Okay, so now I'm just going to wipe this clean in the sink and see how we've done so far. So I've gone ahead and washed off all the silicone carbide residue. And I've also dried my ground glass, and that's an important point to remember because if you don't dry the ground glass, you're not actually going to see the effect that all that grinding that you just did had on the glass. Now, as you can see from this particular example that I just did, I've missed a few spots in this area here. So I need to go back now and apply some fresh silicone carbide to the glass, a little bit of water, and maybe five minutes or so of grinding, and this should be a fantastic ground glass ready for use. So after about five additional minutes of grinding with the silicone carbide, my ground glass looks fantastic and it's ready for a test trial. So let's go ahead and do that. I place my Fresnel rough side down, my new ground glass smooth side up, into the Graflex back and secure them back into place. Now that's a fully functional ground glass for a fraction of the cost. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful.